So a typical day for me as a student pilot is um, getting up in the morning and checking the weather, making sure that it is fly worthy weather. You know, you can't have too many, too much wind and you can't have too hazy of skies. You know, it's got to be pretty clear, at least for this stage that I'm at right now as a student pilot. And um, then I you know, meet up with my instructor, make sure he's available. And then we go to um, King County International, which is a very large airport, but it's where all of the private planes are based out of. We do our pre-flight check, which is where we walk around the plane and we check the tires, the, the prop, the belt that's, you know, right inside, right behind the prop. We um, check the fuel levels and the oil levels and just make sure that everything is in working order. And then uh, we get in the plane and then we do our check inside for all the instruments inside and make sure that those are all you know, safe and good and everything's a go. And then, um, you know, we taxi out onto the runway and we we talk about our flight first, like where we're going to go. And it's right now because I'm really learning landings. We go to different airports so I can practice landings at different airports. And, um, and then we fire up the plane, taxi down the runway. We call in, you know, to the people at King County International and make sure we have clearance and we take off and fly to our destination. So for landing, you have to do a, a leg around, a rotation around the airport. So they call it your base leg. And so you go around and you, once you are parallel with the runway that you're going to land on, um, that's your that's your base leg and you that's when you start to lose altitude you know you start to descend and um, and then you manage your um, your speed your power and you um, gradually go down and then there's two lights that are um, on the very front of the runway and you make sure that you can see that th those that those lights are green because if they're red, that means that you are not, you know, appropriately centered. If you can't see them, you're too high. If they're red, you're too low. And so you got to keep it green with your, with your altitude and going in and keeping the appropriate speed. You want to land at about 60 miles an hour and go in and then um, you flare up just a little bit. So you like pull the plane back so that it lifts up just a little bit right as you are going to touch down. And that makes for a beautiful, smooth landing.